So I have added some code in the serverless uh, folder. So I will explain that later on. But uh, like if um, I just go to the serverless.jml file. So basically here uh, I have uh, created a handler uh, that is the get authorization and then uh, uh, I'm also creating um, uh, the API in the API gateway using the post method uh, and authorization uh, path and like um, I have this um, headers uh, for the core setting so maybe I can change that to get request because uh, I want to retrieve the authorization header um, from this get authorization uh, uh, function so if I go to my uh, serverless folder and inside that um, I have a source folder which I have created and uh, in that I have a handler so basically this handler is creating uh, the authorization header so I'll go through this code later on like uh, just letting you know that this is there so so in this step i'll just deploy this um, handler into aws using the serverless commands um, so basically this serverless.jml file will be used uh, for the deployment and it will create a function get authorization and then uh, api in the api gateway uh, so for that i'll go to uh, my command prompt and uh, from here um, I'll go to the serverless folder so so you can see like I have the serverless .jml file in the serverless folder so here I will type sls deploy uh, to deploy uh, this lambda function and um, API in API gateway uh, and I'll give the region flag and I wanna deploy it into US West 2 region and then I'll hit enter so yeah it will use a serverless uh, platform to deploy this API and handler so I'll wait a little bit. I'll pause the video and come again uh, once this deployment is done. So now you can see and the deployment is complete. So I will go to AWS console. Uh, for that, let's go to the browser. So from here, yeah, I will go to the Lambda console and see, you can see like um, this sign request, dev get authorization, uh, Lambda function is deployed in uh, US West 2 region. And um, serverless has assigned some uh, permissions to it. And uh, now I'll go back to API gateway and there is another API is created uh, via the serverless framework and it is for the authorization path and uh, I have a get method that is basically integrated with this sign request dev get authorization method so uh, serverless has successfully deployed both uh, api and uh, lambda into aws so next i will uh, um, i will use uh, the front end and then create a page over there and then i'll create two buttons one for get and one for post and then i will try to hit uh, this authorization api first and uh, then I'll try to call the get item and save item methods from there. 